G'day guys, Ryan here, your coffee coach, and it's camping time. So when I go camping, I only ever bring one espresso machine, the best ever, and that is the Decent. But of course, don't always have electricity, so this is no good. So what are the best camping equipment espresso machines that you can get? Well, let's take a look. So camping is tricky because most espresso machines are designed for staying at home with electricity. However, there are a few that you can take camping to get you a really good espresso. The first one actually also can make you a great latte. And it is called the Bellman CX25P. That way. It's a fantastic device. It goes straight on your gas stove. And I, the CX25P has the gauge on it and a steamer as well. So you can make a cappuccino, a latte, whatever you feel like. I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks to use with it. One of the things I would recommend getting is these paper filters, because they really do come in handy. You can get a tamper as well, although the trick that I'm gonna show you doesn't actually need the tamper. But let's get it going, and I'll show you what to do. What I love about the Bellman is that you have the pressure gauge. A lot of the brewers don't have pressure gauge. You don't know how much you're extracting. So I just really appreciate that being able to see that. One of the advice I would give you is pre-boil your water. Because this is one you can use at home so you can boil it with the kettle. Don't try and boil the water on the gas stove because it'll take forever. forever. Get yourself a little jet boil. I mean, this, these are great if you're going camping or hiking anyway. Get yourself a jet boil because they then boil the water really quickly, add the boiling water in, add your coffee in. Now, the other downside I don't really love about the Bellman is that it's just a little bit too small and on a standard size see gas burner here it just doesn't fit so another handy tip just get yourself a piece of gauze or a grate anything that you um whoop, anything that you can put over the top of it just makes it from stopping from being able to fall over and that just makes it really easy so yeah this is not your hiking equipment definitely you're not going to be taking this on your little one day hikes or if you're really extreme hiking but if you're going camping you've got a trailer you've got room to pack the box in then this is a fantastic brewer you can just see how fantastic the espresso is it's probably my top espresso machine for camping and the fact that you can steam your milk because a lot of people do enjoy their lattes and cappuccinos means that you use the same pressure to extract your coffee and then steam your milk all in one go it does enough for about two coffees maybe one large one depending on how much milk and coffee you use but generally you'd get two small coffees out of this one quite easily now the next brewer I don't have with me because I don't use it very often anymore oh. it's called the Mooka pot it's a stove top, but with a twist. What it is, I think it's a great one if you need to make milk drinks and you're camping. It also goes on the stove top. You just pop the milk in the top part of it and you put the espresso grinds underneath. And then as the pressure builds up, it goes through and infuses with the milk in the top section as, as well as it heats. And then you just pour the, all of it into one cup and you get your latte all in one. It's definitely not as tasty as the Bellman, and you can definitely get better other camping equipment if you want to focus on just espresso. But if you want that milk part, and you don't want all the fuss of the Bellman, then the Mooka Pot by Bialetti is a fantastic alternative, and I really recommend you get one. I just haven't used mine in a long time, and I couldn't find it for this video. All right, so the next couple of brewers, they don't do milk which is fine if you don't want to have milk, but a lot of people do like their milks. You can make milk separately. In fact, you can buy a Bellman steamer, which is just for doing milk, and you can take that along with your other brewers if you want to. The best espresso maker that I've found for camping is the Flare. It comes in a lot of different varieties. There's the Flare Signature Pro, which is the one that I have right here. It's a beautiful design. Just packs down into a little suitcase that you can take wherever you like. Very simply goes together like so. Has a pressure gauge. It does take a little bit of getting used to if you want to finesse it and get the best espresso out of it. Um, you have to fit 18 grams of coffee in there. But for ease of use, the Flare Signature Pro, and you can have a 58 mil one as well, it's their latest one, is 
so well designed, so compact, and yet can create the best espresso shot. Just absolutely beautiful. And I do have a trick that you can do to make yourself a espresso on ice. If you've got a little esky, you can get one of the whiskey balls, pop it in, pour your milk over the top, and you'll have yourself an ice latte. That's if you wanna do milk with the flare. As you can see, the flare is very simple design. It's actually a little bit finicky if you wanna get the full 18 grams of coffee in. I do find using a WDT, a waste distribution technique tool, to just ever so gently finesse the coffee into the top of the portafilter. The tamper that comes with it is perfectly designed to fit inside the portafilter. It's tiny, and so I think there is a justification to buying the 58 mil version. The 58 mil version is a standard portafilter size, so you get a wider bed, so it makes it much easier to get a nice even extraction. And as well, all the accessories that come with it are normally 58 mil. So if you wanna change out and get a naked portafilter, you wanna get a different size basket, a different screen, some other tools, they usually are 58 mil. That's the case that comes with it and it, everything fits inside it. This you can take anywhere around the world, anywhere camping. The setup is easy, you just need a flat surface and some nice hot water. And I'll show you how good the coffee is on this. Now, it's time for me to get serious. It turns out 89.9% .9 of you are not subscribed to my channel. And it really makes me sad. If you have watched two of my videos, please, you need to subscribe. And if this is first time here, then just give me a like and maybe come back and watch another video and then subscribe. It makes me able to make more of these videos, more of these contents for you to really explore coffee and go on this journey deep, deep, deep into coffee. So please, pretty please, Aww. subscribe to my channel. That's all I have to say. Now let's get back to making coffee. So the last coffee machine that I will bring camping is probably my new favorite. I know I rave about the flares. However, I recently purchased the Pico Presso from Wakeco and I'm gobsmacked at how good the coffee is. What? Dude's walking in. Just say hello to the dude on the beach there. Say hello to my little friend. This Pico Presso is an upgrade to the original Nano Presso. Now, the Nano Presso I used a lot, but I really got bored of taking it camping because of the hassle. It does such a small amount of coffee that I used to have to do two in order to get a single coffee just for myself. We're only talking about espresso shots here, but the Pico Presso is a major upgrade on all fronts and there's more accessories coming soon. The Pico Presso on its own in this box is an 18 gram basket, and I can pack in usually about 18 and a half grams in there. And the coffee that you get from it is exquisite. Like I'm talking quality that you would get in a cafe, at least coffee that you could get at home on a decent machine. It's not as hard to use as the Nanopresso. It's much more easy to clean, and you also get a lot of little extra accessories inside it, including the ones that are coming soon, which is a foldable stand with a mirror underneath that you can look at the espresso shot pouring out because it's got a naked portafilter, which just looks absolutely gorgeous. And it also has a pressure gauge coming, which I think will be a major upgrade to the Pico Presso because you don't really know what pressure, how many bars you're using when you, you have to sort of eyeball it when you're using it. But with the pressure gauge, I think it's gonna make it a lot easier to get a consistent espresso. Let's take a look inside the box. Packs down into that, which is perfect for extreme campers because all you really want is get that espresso shot and everything packs away super neatly inside here. You've got your nice little compartment for palm tamper. Uh, you've got your coffee catcher ring here. It does come with a little distribution tool, a WDT, but I don't really like this one. I actually prefer to bring with me the Posado one because it packs down into a nice little box like that, doesn't take up too much room, has a nice little uh, tube to keep it from stabbing you, and they look beautiful. Just look at that. So you can get in there and you can distribute your coffee very easily. If you have a look at the basket size, 
The basket is quite big. It's big enough and there's an upgrade coming for this. I think there's a 20 gram IMS basket that's coming for this, which will be great if you want to do those long extractions. But even without it, you'll just see how nice that espresso looks coming through the Naked Porter filter. So let's give it a try. So it's super easy with the Pico Presso because you basically pop your coffee in, then you get your palm tamper, which comes with it, pop that in there, nice and evenly flatten it. You get a beautiful little puck. Pop your dispersion screen on top. Pop your dispersion screen on top. Screw it into the base. And you can see you've got a nice, beautiful naked porta filter there. You pop your water in on the top there, boiling water, 30 seconds off the boil. And then you're ready to extract. <laughs> I can't get it to. Obviously, you don't want to do this in the wind. Well, that's it for me and my coffee camping best espresso machine. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. I'm Ryde, your coffee coach, and as always, enjoy your brew.